trade tensions between the U.S. and China show no signs of letting up. But according to Qi Bin, executive vice president of the China Investment Corporation, this is not the time to throw in the towel. He says progress can be made on the state level when I asked him where the relationship between the two countries can go from here. It's very hard to predict or make the prediction uh, for how long this kind of uh, uh, tension is going to last. But I think uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, fundamental uh, for economic cooperation between China and the U.S. is there. Um, therefore, we would expect you know, more cooperation in the long run. I know you've spoken to some governors. Uh, is it just basically keeping the conversation going during these heightened times of tension between our two countries? First of all, we realized uh, over the years that uh, subnational uh, cooperation is very important to economic ties between U.S. and China. And therefore, you know, keeping the dialogue with the governors is very, very helpful. Secondly, um, we uh, put together a fund with uh, Goldman Sachs to invest in some heartland uh, of U.S. and primarily some traditional industry which still enjoy uh, advantage over Chinese uh, industries. So it would be helpful for us to get to know those partners, uh, those governors, and also uh, their economic development uh, uh, department to help source some of the deals. Already, this type of investment is already having an impact. It's creating jobs, uh, impacting the economy. Um, is that message getting through, do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. If you go to uh, Wisconsin, um, well, a state where, you know, when we studied in the States about 20 years ago, uh, we really, you know, uh, didn't pay much attention to the state. But this state alone has about 20, 30 companies flourishing in China. I mean, talk about, uh, we talk about A.O. Smith, we talk about uh, um, Cola Toilets, uh, we talk about uh, Johnson Control Track. Um, just A.O. Smith alone, uh, it grew 22% annually in the past 16 years in China, uh, starting from a you know, no-namer in the uh, U.S. Now they made it into S&P 500 list, uh, thanks to, mostly thanks to Chinese uh, market contribution. And I think those kind of examples really illustrated that there's so much complementarity between U.S. economy and the Chinese economy. And uh, we can tap into those complementarity and benefit both sides. And are there enough uh, people working hard at keeping this relationship going in the right direction that, that uh, when it's over, when the fight's over, uh, you know, everybody's back to where they were uh, cooperating with one another? I think as long as more people are, you know, making effort, to promote or deepen U.S.-China economic cooperation to strengthen this economic tie, I think uh, it's going to make a difference. I think things like that are just make, going to make a huge difference. I think we should keep this up and uh, just uh, uh, hope things will come back to normal.